okay so let's take a look at how you can track the employees in your department or your small business so first thing we will open our air table and this is where we create new base from scratch so click on that as you can see it will show you option to get started right so right hand side you can choose google sheets excel paste existing data use csv file or you can pick the templates i prefer starting from scratch so i will choose the start from scratch option right now here i can check the name of my base so employee tracker right or you can even say something like database or so right here considering it is a spreadsheet so we'll try and uh, use appropriate icon right so you can go through all of that list of available icons so let's say considering it's employee based we will use em right so now coming to the grid view you will find your basic primary field it says name but i'm going to replace that by selecting this menu then click on edit field here i'm going to use number and then i will use number here choose integer as format then you can add description and at the end save so it cannot be removed so you will just auto increment it right then next thing you will remove some of the fields which are already there so let's see i remove two fields in their respective status right now i will create the new field with say employee code and that will be mix of number and text so we'll try and see if that allows us so here i will have to choose single line text and i will have to type in employee code or you can simply go with code that will also do right now the next field that i wish to add here would be say employee name right so do we have any user option here yes so if you are going to add all those employees into your table that would go costly so what we can do use single line text right and here you can use employee name right now create field right then we have our two more options one being single line text for department now let's create a field now finally we have position for that employee in a single line text so position or you can also replace this with job title so let's say this is my first employee with the code as bc001 or 2 right so bc then employee name c luke then department c quality control right and then job title as supervisor then we have second field where we have te002 right and name here adam then here we have management team and role as flow manager right then we have another name let's see oh sorry i accidentally added the name in code so let's see we add code then name then let's see account department then accountant right so these are some of the employees i can keep 
on and again going ahead now here as you can see it says table one instead I can simply rename this right and say employee database right and that will be renamed now if you want to create a form out of this can do so as well simply go to form you have employee tracker can use personal for editing create new view and this is your tracker here you see number you can hide it then employee code employee name department and job title so this looks like a good view can allow people to request coffee you can uncheck that so some of the options are for pro version so you may have to check that so these highlighted options are like that right finally you can use thank you for submitting the form right i can also view this form in web view before that i will add description add your HR employee data right now I will just open the form now here you can see employee tracker form right it says employee tracker and add your HR employee data so code employee department job right you can also check email me a copy of my responses then submit so it will auto populate as long as you are adding the data through this form and it will be visible in one of the views which is in our case as you can see we have one grid view and one form right so this is where everything will be populated so this was employee tracker in Airtable